Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to try the finger coils. It's a hairstyle that I've wanted to try forever, but as my due date is drawing near, I think this is probably the last style that I will do before a long-term protective style. So I just wanted to quickly get it in before wash day. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out. This is a braid out um, from braids that I did two weeks ago when I washed my hair. So they've been in for two weeks and I just took them out. So this is day one braid out. So I'm going to start on this hair. It's already been moisturized from two weeks ago, but depending on how dry it feels, I might add some moisturizer, some oil, and then my custard to actually make the coils stay. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Also, thank you for 4,000 subscribers. I'm calling this because I know that by the time I upload it, I'd already have 4,000. So thank you so much for your support and I appreciate it so much. So just spraying a bit of water to my roots because I want to part my hair across. So I'm just looking into my mirror here. So here I'm just parting my hair into three sections, one at the back, one in the middle and then one at the front. So once that's done, I'm just going to twist each section and put it away. So I'm just going to clip the front bit away and then work on the back. So it feels a bit dry. So I'm going to go in with my Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Style Milk. Follow up with my Afrocent Chicks Seal Oil. So I'm going to part the back in three sections and work from there. So I'm just going in with water because my scalp is a bit dry. Just to add a bit of moisture. And then I'm going in with the oil to oil my scalp and my hair as well. So I'm going to separate this into two. So to get my hold, I'm using the Pantene Gold Series Curl Pudding. So I'm going to start by applying it to the length of my hair like so and then start oh i've already ripped out my hair guys oh no i didn't realize this was going to be this hard so i'm just twirling my roots to just keep it tight and then holding it I'm just going to keep twirling it. I'm just going to clip it down so that it doesn't come undone. So this is it. So this is what I've got to use. So I'm just going to clip so it doesn't come undone. So this is what it's looking like. I have no idea how this is going to turn out guys. So I'm going to do the second one. So twist the root tight and then hold it as you go along the length of the hair so just keep twirling it around your finger and I find that when you move your hands closer to where you're twirling it it's better than just keeping your hands at the roots So once you're done, just clip it away just to keep the roots stretched. I'm going to separate this into two. We 
we've oiled our scalp we've oiled the hair we've added the water now it's time to go in with the custard applying it to the root and then to the length of my hair so start twirling at the root until it's tight I think I'm, good, I'm just going to do this because this is a lot easier for me so I keep twirling so then once everything has been twirled I'm going to then go back holding the root and then doing that so this is a lot easier for me to do I find so so one thing I found was that I had residue because I think I used too much of the curling pudding and you will see what it did to my hair soon yeah this was definitely a lot easier than the previous ones so I'm going to keep doing it like that this is my hair <laughs> I'm kind of excited because I feel like this this is what locks would look like if I did locks so what I'm gonna do is as I've finished the back section I'm going to hold it with my ponytail and stretch it out so I'm just doing sort of the banding method at the roots and then halfway through the the length of my hair Okay, so hopefully that should keep it stretched and also um, when I'm going to bed I think I will just to maintain them this is just how I would um, stretch them before I sleep they look like locks guys <laughs> I'm so excited so this is day two and I have gone and finished it off I have to tell you guys this is probably the worst decision I've ever made in my life okay exaggeration but <laughs> I was so tired guys this was a bad idea it just was not a good idea at all but I just really wanted to try this before baby came because I know that once baby's here I won't be able to do this sort of hairstyle and I'd probably have to protect his style properly so this is day three <laughs> I started doing my hair on Friday and today is Sunday I actually finished my hair last night so it took me two days guys so after I finished doing my hair I held it into two ponytails and banded it and then held it with another one so I'm going to take it off for you to see so this is just a tights that I had ripped up and then I had two ponytails and did sort of the banding method more than half of the way so that was just to keep it stretched so I'm going to take it all out Ooh. <laughs> so as you can see it's quite puffy here okay So this is it. So as you can see, that's the residue that I was talking about. So I think I definitely used too much curling pudding. It does this when I use it on my husband's hair as well. So I've tried it with the Cantu Shea Butter and I've tried it with the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Styling Milk and I get the same residue so I don't really know what to do with it. It's a shame really because... <laughs> This was such a nice style but it doesn't matter so much because we're in lockdown and i was just at home and i wore it for three days so it wasn't too bad 
So I ended up wearing this style to my baby shower. It was actually a surprise and I thought I was going to a barbecue. So this was my look for my baby shower and I absolutely loved it. And it's a good thing that I chose the scarf because I had a lot of residue. Thank you for watching. I am going to come with another video to show you how I styled them. So thank you for watching and let me know if you've done finger curls before or if you plan to try them. And I shall see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.